Here are the weird figures on my shelf. We have Randy Orton, Legend Killer, Elite 49, the New Day All 3-Pack. I would just, uh, put the tactiles on it, which were included. Custom Elite, Marty Scurll. And then we have uh, Austin Aries. Custom uh, Elite Tyson Kid. Custom Elite Finn Balor. Right here we have figure boxes and we have figures on top of them. We have Chris Jericho, GameStop exclusive. TJ Perkins, Toys R Us exclusive. A Styles, um, Lady Championship, uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Virgil, Toys R Us exclusive. Just signs right there. So these are figures I have hung up. So this is one of my bin. This is, I know, the dirty bin. But these are the figures that I mostly use. So we have the Elite 9 Miz. Elite Triple H Terminator attire. Elite Heath Slater, if he is the Ultra Pro Champion. Uh, basic Zack Ryder. Elite AJ Styles. Elite Game Top Exclusive Elite Simone Joe. Elite Finn Balor, which he is an international champion, Ultra Pro International Champion. Elite CM Punk. Elite Stardust. Um, Elite Sheamus uh, Custom. I got this from a guy on Instagram. I just wore up these knee pads on. Uh, Target Exclusive NXT No Way Jose. Elite John Cena, um, one half of the Usos, the other half of the Usos. Elite 49, I believe, Apollo Crews, Basic Cesaro. Um, Elite Finn Balor, Toys R Us exclusive, I believe. Elite Dan Al Forever, uh, Sami Zayn. One of my, I only have two Divas figures, is the one of them. Um, the Basic Charlotte. Uh, we have Elite Banos Barrett. If I painted this, um, I will pad a while ago, but it's chipping. Elite Bo Dallas. Most of these figures I have their accessories, but like they're in a separate bin. Then I'll forever elite Tyler Breeze. Elite um, Seth Rollins. Toys R Us exclusive Elite Dean Ambrose. Uh, basic uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, the NXT um, exclusive Target exclusive um, Bailey. Target exclusive NXT figure uh, Seth Rollins. Elite Roman Reigns. Elite Kevin Owens. Tar Toys R Us exclusive um, Enzo Mori. Elite 43, I believe, Elite 43, uh, Kevin Owens, um, uh, a Toys R Us exclusive, Big Cass, and Elite Rusev, so these are figures I mostly use. By the way, I don't trade or sell, so don't ask. Bin number two are my Legends, and um, I do use most of these figures. They're not necessarily Legends, but they're um, wrestlers that don't really wrestle on WWE no more. Oh yeah, and I forgot how this uh, Elite Dolls are going. By the way... <clears throat> the most figures I have of one person is Seth Rollins, and I have five figures of him. Three elites and two basics. We have this elite Ken Shamrock, the old uh, ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels. We have this um, uh, Eddie Guerrero Jax figure. We have this elite Rock. We got this Hulk Hogan elite. I have the shirt on. This is the shirt from the Defining Moments. We have an elite Tyson. Um, well, I said Tyson kid. Um, elite Cycle Sid. Elite Sting. Um, an elite um, stone cold, but the waist is really loose. The torso, whatever. Toys R Us exclusive, I believe. Um, elite baby boss man. Uh, I believe this is a Hall of Fame series. Toys R Us Target exclusive, I believe. Um, Edge. Elite mankind. I believe this is also a Toys R Us. I mean, Target exclusive Hall of Fame series. Um, Roger Roger Piper. I believe this is also a Target uh, exclusive. Um, Hall of Fame. Series Booker T. We have a Toys R Us exclusive uh, Glenn Jacobs or St um, Kane before he was Kane. And the Target exclusive um, Jerry King Lawler Hall of Fame series. Uh, the final moments uh, surface thing with the with the boots and not the lace boots. Elite Junkyard Dog. What, I think he's Elite 34. I don't know. I forgot. A basic RVD. There's no ponytail on him and came off. I just realized most of the figures are elites, except for like two probably aren't elites to my legend figures. The defining moments, um, Undertaker Corporation of Ministry, I believe, Tiger. And Elite Vader. We have this Elite Kane. I know Kane still wrestles, but he doesn't wrestle. He wrestles in a mask, so he doesn't really wrestle like this anymore. So this is why he's in my legend bin. We have this Elite, um, Andre the Giant. Um, when, he used, when he used to wear trunks and had some red boots uh, with late white laces. Um, um, Defining Moments, uh, Hulk Hogan. Defining Moments, Razor Ramon. We have the Outsiders. This came in a four pack with all. It also came with Larry Zabisco and the Target exclusive Hall of Fame, which I have at Aguero, but you'll see where it is. Got the APA, both of them, uh, for Root and Brashaw. So this bin is figures I don't use, including like. um. Um, Legend, what well, I call Legend, and 
current superstars. Right below you see the old dirty belt. I have a, also have the world, the WCW belt, but I don't know where it is right now. So most of these figures, they don't have like boots or they don't have like um, boots or arms or like, that's why, because I'm currently doing fix ups. So we have this um, shameless with no boots. I have the boots and all that. I'm just doing fix ups. Basic Alberto the Rio, or he's now El Patron. Um, basic Festus. Um, this is Luke Gallows currently, but this was what he used to be. His name was Festus. Festus, I believe. Um, this is a Jax. An old Jax on Triple H with a shirt. Um, uh, basic Sheamus. Uh, basic The Rock. Dude, when I got the figure, I realized I like a green mark there. It's kind of, um, chipping. I did this a while ago. I tried to put a Sharpie, but that didn't work. But I did that, like... A few years ago, and it's actually the Sharpie still there. This old Vatisa I got from like a random store like a few years ago. My grandma bought me for like eight dollars. It's chipping, and there's a bunch of scuff scuff marks in them. I got that for like eight dollars. Right here we have a basic Mark Henry. I should have put him in a Legends bin, but it's not like I'm gonna use him anyways. A Jack's Boogeyman, which is chipping, and I actually found this in my school in like fifth grade. Uh, basic Dean Ambrose with no shirt. Yeah, and right here is my old poster. Some figures. I mean, I mean some people. You see, he has an old logo. Um, a basic Ultimate Warrior. This is in this bin just because I don't really. Um, oh yeah, this is in the wrong bin. My bad. This is the Ultimate Warrior that's supposed to be here. I use the other one more. So this Ultimate Warrior is supposed to be in the largest bin. The basic Ultimate Warrior. I put the wrong one in there. He's Randy. This Randy Orton with I don't know where the arms are, so I'm probably gonna like buy a basic and like swap the arms and the head. Only Randy Orton, so but I don't use it because of uh, the no arms. A headless basic John Cena. Chris Axel for Hulkamania shirt. Um, it's on a John Cena body. I don't know. I think I might have tried putting this like in the league having once, but yeah, I kind of ruined the figure. Hashtag save the figures. A basic Chris Jericho says 2013 right there. Right here we have Lord Tenzai, or you probably know him for A-Train, or you probably know him in NXT, Matt Bloom. Basic. This Joker basic Sami, um, I'm about to say Sami Zayn, but that's Sami Zayn shirt. This Joker basic, um, uh, Kofi Kingston. I have him because he was a fan in one of my shows. I forgot which one it was. Joker, tell you know, I painted on, um, I drew on the kick pads. I'll read the bottom two. I remember getting this. I got this a while ago at Kmart. A Fleck Force um, Sheamus. Right here, as you can see, I tried doing uh, chest hair, just practicing. I think I actually did kind of good in this one. These basic age styles. I already have about uh, two elite age styles, so I don't really use this. You know, this Undertaker with the Mohawk. Basic. Um, I had my security guard. That's why he has a Paula Cruz NXT shirt. It is basic Christian, and I don't really use them because, you know, uh, the elbow joints and above they're like loose. They're not like put on correctly, as you can see. It's kind of sticking out on both sides. You know, that's why I don't really use them. A very, very, very old Randy Orton. You see the torso is about to open and everything. But I don't really want to use this figure because this is one of my. Um, first figures that I actually still have. Uh, Roman Reigns with no vest or head. Yeah, there's Jax Marshall Man. The reason I don't ice in this one because I don't want to use it and uh, breaking it. As you can see, there's, the tassels aren't in it. It came off. Very old Marshall Man. I have him from a Demolition. I forgot what his name was, but I ended up just randomly picking him up a few years ago. I haven't really used him. We have a basic Daniel Bryan. We have a basic Seth Rollins, which I tried doing the chest here, but I think I know how to remove that, actually, because I removed most of it, but I'm going to try to remove that. I don't know in between where the abs are though. Maybe I'll make it probably in future like a custom basic, just paint over it. We have an elite El Torito. I actually want to use it for a stop motion, but I don't know who. I'll make maybe like a Rey Mysterio, but for that new elite Rey Mysterio. But I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know. A bunch of these figures are like dirty. No, that's because I haven't touched these figures for like a while. Yeah, this basic uh, Sting. Here we have Roman Reigns, the Narrow Saffron, when he should be shield. Um, this, they're all uh, three pack basics. I actually got scammed for this on eBay. I ended up paying 120 something, which I could have got for like $30 at Kmart. So my other, my other figures are in this book bag because I'm packing to leave. And these are the figures I'm going to bring. Um, most of these figures I'm going to, um, I'm going to test it. You'll see what I'm going to do most of these figures. And this Elite Dana Bryan, which I actually use this figure. This Jack Triple H, I don't use this figure. Um, the Lee Eddie Guerrero, which D, um, I do use this figure. Um, a 
Elite Seth Rollins. A basic Rey Mysterio. I don't know what happened, but we have this Daniel Bryan, which is chipping. But I don't know what the hell I tried doing with that. It is TNA, um, Mr. Anderson or Mr. Kennedy. Very tall figure, which he's not even that tall, probably. Uh, yeah, this Austin Aries, another um, TNA figure, which the skin tone doesn't match. And this a t tall figure, which Austin Aries, it's, this is like the same size as my Braun Strowman figure, probably. Right here we have uh, Braun Strowman. Crap. And he is my Ultra Pro Genesis champion, Braun Strowman. I love this figure. We have this um, armless uh, basic sting. Which I got for four dollars on something in the camera on Amazon. Surfers think. And we have this elite Define Moments Macho Man, which are definitely out the rope. So all these figures. Um hold on. Uh, wait, hold on, let me see what the figures. Oh, yeah, so these are the only figures that we use, but all these figures, I'm gonna make a special video with these figures whenever I go to where I'm going. I'm going to Mexico for a few weeks and these figures I'm gonna have a test with so oh yeah and yesterday um it's currently December 28th but December 26th I went to WWE live but I didn't record it so sorry about that so I don't trade or sell I've been collecting for like 2010 you know when they had very 2010 2011 they had very like few but I know like whatever year they had a very few Mattel figures so a lot of people complaining, but we still have these figures because many of the figures um that um, we wanted didn't come out yet. Like they didn't have um. Gonna use that as a good example. Like what well, I'm saying, you know, like for example, like if we wanted uh Mr. Just using him as an example, if we wanted a uh, Mr. Anderson, um we didn't have and they didn't have him elite when we had to deal with this Jacks figure until we had him in elite. But these are elite figures, kind of. On this one, the skin tone actually matches, kind of, not really, but. Yeah. So actually, March 18th, there, March 16th, there should be another wrestling event, which most likely I'm going to go. 25% out of 100, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, so I'm not spoiled, like I'm saying. I've been collecting since 2010 or 2011, and only have about 122 figures. So uh, I'm fine with my collection, which I'm actually um, getting more figures in the future, you know. I actually have a figure coming in um, the day I leave, but when I come back, there'll be a figure review on that. It's a very rare figure. Rare figure. Use this, but I actually use this figure a lot too. So I've been literally editing the video, and I forgot that I had Ric Flair. So 123 figures, but he is my general manager. My bad. He is my commissioner. And I forgot about these, but these figures I counted. Um, he's general manager for Alex Pro. This is a basic edge with a John Cena shirt. He's my referee.